Dear professors, today I represent Group Three to report on the learning outcomes during the summer camp. Our theme is development of glucose lowering soybean milk with curcumin delivery system constructed by based on soybean protein isolate. The members of our group are displayed in the bottom right corner. Our contents include the following seven aspects, which are extraction process and function of curcumin, soil protein encapsulated curcumin, processing procedure of modulated soy milk, ingredients of modulated soy milk, sensory evaluation of modulated soy milk, shelf life determination of modulated soy milk, and functional validation of modulated soy milk. Next, let me introduce you to the background of our research. Curcumin, as a hydrophobic polyphenol compound, has anti-cancer, anti-inflammatory, and weight loss effects. But its biological activity is severely limited due to poor water solubility, instability in specific environment, and low bioavailability. Studies have shown that protein encapsulation of curcumin can significantly improve its bioavailability. Soy protein isolate is a low GI food that helps reduce the risk of cardiovascular disease. Therefore, we chose the development of hypoglycemic soybean milk based on the curcumin delivery system constructed by soybean protein isolate. We use ultrasonic assisted extraction as our extraction technology using 80.4% ethanol with a material liquid ratio of 1 to 21.9. The ultrasonic power is 200 watt. The enzymatic hydro hydrolysis pH is 4.5. The temperature is 55 degree. The enzyme amount is 21 milligram per gram and enzyme molysis time is 42 minutes. Curcumin has many functions including antioxidant activity and RS scam scavenger performance of curcumin. Prevent uh, anti-inflammatory effect, preventing cardiovascular diseases, anti-tumor, preventing neurological diseases. Furthermore, I will explain the process of making microcapsules. Soybean isolate protein was dissolved in 10 mg per milliliter of Phosphor, phosphate buffer and curcumin was dissolved in 10 mg milliliter of ethanol. Then, ultrasonic operation was performed for 10 minutes. Then, the composite nanoparticles were obtained by centrifugation at 8000 rpm per minute for 20 minutes. And finally, spray drying was performed. Next part is modified soy milk processing. First, the soybeans are inactivated by drying and heating, then soaking, cleaning, and peeling. Next comes the hot grading process, which requires attention to separation and uh, dorization. This is followed in turn by modulation homogenization, sterilization, packaging, and finally the product. Sterilization conditions are shown in the table. Additives include sweeteners, emulsifiers, compound thickeners, and composite pre preserv preservatives. I use sweeteners to expand 
the description. Sweeteners include Newtain, Sodium Cyclamate, Aspartame, and Acesulfane. Their dosages are listed in the table, which also includes their index numbers. Other additives are also listed in the table as above. The sensory evaluation of the product is the next part. The sensory evaluation will be conducted in four dimensions. Appearance, aroma, color, and flavor. The appearance of soy milk is free of whey precipitation, stable, and free of impurities overall, with a weighting factor score of 0.3. The aroma is intense and pure, scored 0.2 of weighting factor. The color is free of weight precipitation, even and stable, nuclear white and free of impurities, scored 0.3 of weighting factor. The flavor is the characteristic aroma of soy milk, no bean smell and the soul smell, scored 0.2 of weighting factor. The shelf life is determined by accelerated destructive testing based on temperature conditions. Samples were maintained at 5, 15, 25, 35, 45, 55 degrees and 75% relative humidity. Samples were taken every 5 days and tested for microbiological indicators of mold and yeast. Then the shelf life is calculated by the following formula, microbial index limit and the test method of vegetable protein beverage is shown in the table. Finally, animal experiments were performed. 60 Wista rats were fed adaptively for one week. 50 rats were fed a high fat diet for four weeks. STZ were injected intraperitoneally and divided into a model group, metformin injected group, protein injected group, polyphenol injected group, and protein plus polyphenol injected group. 10 rats were fed normally for four weeks at normal control and got intraperitoneal injection of equal dose citric acid buffer solution. The changes of body weight and blood sugar were recorded weekly. After four weeks, the animals were killed by neck removal. GSP, insulin, total cholesterol, TAG, LDL-C, and LHDC-C in the serum was then detected. Finally, liver index, kidney index, spleen index, and the liver function were tested. Thank you for your listening.